Don't move, scumbag. Oh, shit. Surprise! <laughs> you weren't looking for that at Paulie's, by chance. Sam, what's going on? I thought we were meeting alone. The situation's changed, Tom. I had to decide whose side I was on, and sorry, but it would be suicidal to stand on your side. I can live with murder, though. So you killed Polly? Well, I was more the means to his death. The same as I am in your case. I would never have expected this from you, Sam. Well, I'm in a good mood. Things are looking up for me, and I, well, I found a bag of money. So killing off your partners is a big laugh? Maybe I should try it. Hmm, it ain't bad. But you probably won't have time. It's never too late to start. I guess honor's out of the picture. Honor's meaningless. This is business, and you've broken its unwritten rules many times over, Tom. Maybe I feel some pity, but that's out of place in business. I didn't notice that I was the cause of the family's problems. Really? You did what you wanted, Tom. You didn't kill Frank. You let that whore get away and then the bank? You can't do what you know is right because you don't know nothing. You don't grasp the effects of your actions. The Don is the thinker. You were never a great thinker, so you probably need him. That's not how I feel. I can think for myself. The opinion of Don Cilieri is that he won't go and sit in jail just because of your feelings. And I agree with his opinion completely. Don Cilieri really liked you, Tom. And I did too. We'll cry together at the funeral. You poor bastard, Sam. I feel sorry for you. But I'm alive. It's a pity you can't use that money. Oh, but don't worry. We'll give Sarah a little something. You know, single mothers don't have it easy these days. The Don will take care of her. He isn't as much of a monster as you think. Goodbye, Tom. It was nice knowing you. Take good care of him, boys. And please, don't make him suffer. He's my buddy. As I see it, the boys underestimated you, Tom. Well, I hope they'll be luckier this time. Boys, be careful you don't break anything. There are lots of beautiful and valuable things in here.
It looks like you underestimated your new partners. Maybe you ought to change sides. It's still not over, Tom. Things aren't what they look like, Sam. Salieri also double-crossed you. What are you talking about? We almost got killed because of those stupid cigars. Salieri knew that the job was risky. There were diamonds hidden between those cigars. He didn't want to give us a cut. That's why Paulie wanted to take the bank. Because he realized how Salieri was ripping us off. He told me about those diamonds, Tom. He only wanted to keep them secret so nobody knew where they were before he sold them. Besides, the diamonds have nothing to do with the fact that you didn't kill Frank! He broke the Omerta. Which is worse, Tom. How do you know I didn't kill Frank? You can blame it all on someone else you didn't kill. You're too human. She came back to the city and we found her by accident. Dead. Tom, 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 you know you can't trust the dame. I can understand it isn't easy to kill your wife's best friend. Yeah, I should have done it for you. <laughs> she also pleaded with me and cried. Uh, well, we realized that we couldn't rely on you, so we checked up a little and found out about Frank. Sam, do you really think everything has to end like this? We still got a chance. There ain't no way back now, Tom. I'm sorry. Same situation again, Tom. And once again, you can't decide. Damn it. You did it! 
but they'll get you all the same. Salieri will get you. He stood by you, you rat. You're dangerous, Tom. And Paulie is dead. He was never, never sure that you would, wouldn't forgive his death. Oh, you're gonna have to hide like an outcast. And one day, they'll get you all the same. <laughs> like Frank. They found him? You only le lengthened his life. But in the end, they found him all the same. And Frank was the Don's only real friend. Friendship ain't worth shit. Oh.